We are finally going to get our hands on Media Molecule's next project in Dreams this coming Tuesday. The game is so compelling and there's so much potential for this game to turn out to be something incredible. However, to be completely honest, right now it doesn't seem like there is this groundswell of anticipation and hype building around the game. So let's try to remedy that a little bit. Specifically, I want to take a look at 10 huge things you need to know about Dreams before you buy it. And of course, we are talking about the Dreams creator early access and I think everybody should be buying it because of value wise it is so good and we'll talk about that in a little bit and again there's just potential for this to turn out to be something really incredible but let's go over 10 huge things you need to know before you buy it so number one i always like to give you guys some insight into the development studio working on these major titles and this one in media molecule is a very interesting studio it's a british first party studio so a studio owned by sony and it was formed all the way back in january of 2006 their first game came at the end of 2008 a playstation 3 exclusive a game that, much like Dreams, didn't have a ton of anticipation heading into its release, but now it has become one of the most iconic PlayStation exclusives ever in Little Big Planet. Now, Little Big Planet, a game that was received very well, but it was received so well based on its creation tools. And what you're going to notice about Media Molecule is that's what they really shine in. Dreams really seems to be an extension of that, an evolution of that. Little Big Planet set the fundamentals, and it was a very compelling game in that regard because we hadn't seen a lot of games like that in the past, especially as a PlayStation title and a PlayStation exclusive. Of course, we've had other creation based games halos had its forge component we've had games like minecraft but little big planet offered such a great way to share these games and users were really put in the forefront in creating these compelling experiences of course little big planet also spawned a sequel in little big planet 2 sumo digital did little big planet 3 that one wasn't as well received and outside of little big planet media molecule had also worked on the playstation vita exclusive in tearaway another very charming game not as big on the creation elements but nonetheless, a cool game in its own right, and they did Tearaway Unfolded, which was a PlayStation 4 port of Tearaway. And that game added some content. What you'll notice about Media Molecule is generally just looking across all of their games that they strictly worked on. Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet 2, Tearaway, Tearaway Unfolded. All of those games are very, very good games. So as far as track record is concerned, man, Media Molecule has one of the best track records in all of gaming from any studio. Maybe it's because these games aren't these big budget, mature, narrative driven games that PlayStation is kind of known for at this point. Maybe that's why Media Molecule isn't heralded among the top studios in the PlayStation first party, but man, looking at what they've done, they are an incredibly talented studio. All right, so that's my spiel on Media Molecule. However, let's move on to number two and let's talk about Dreams itself, which can be seen as the latest evolution of the studio's play, create, share experience. That's the tagline they had with Little Big Planet, but Dreams really takes that to the next level. Dreams also gives you the opportunity to unleash your creativity, building, sharing, and bringing your own ideas or dreams to life. Now, unlike a little big planet where you just created your own levels, Dreams is going to give you the tools to create your own fully fledged games, and they're called Dreams. And all of your dreams will live in the online Dreamverse platform, all with the easy to use, innovative tools Dreams was created with. Create your own dreams in the dream shaping mode, whether you're a total novice, a budding artist, or a master movie maker. The toolkit and tutorials help you every step of the way. If you can picture in your mind's eye, do it in your notebook or hum it to your friends you can bring it to life in dreams the incredible power of creativity has never been so accessible they are touting a lot of possibilities with dreams and based on what i've seen you can really see that come to fruition from games to gadgets musics to movies puzzles to paintings and literally anything in between this is a beautiful playground of creativity where everything is possible of course a very ambitious game but i would expect nothing different from media molecule number three so of course this is an early access offering of dreams that will be coming this tuesday so what is included in early access and what is it well, in the FAQ, it lists this. Early access is exactly that. Early entry into Dreams, designed for creators to get hands-on with the tools. It won't feature everything that the full release will have, our story mode being a big piece of that, but you'll get the full tool set for creating our interactive tutorials and arcade games templates and additional content created by Media Molecule and access to what you, the community, made during our Dreams Creator beta. You'll also be getting the first hands-on with new features and content as we add them, so it will be a work in progress, much like a lot of other early access releases that you see on PC. I know a lot of PlayStation gamers aren't familiar with early access releases. 
because that's traditionally something Sony hasn't done, but Dreams will be a work in progress in this early access. So from the get-go, it'll have a finite number of features, but by the end of the early access period, expect it to get more and more fleshed out. Number four, I do want to talk a little bit about the single player, even though it's not going to be included in the early access period, because while Dreams is being promoted on the basis of just creating and sharing all of these levels, and creation is at the forefront, Dreams will have its own single player component as well. Play in the dreams of the game makers at Media Molecule, experience a fun pack story across three different genres as you explore with your customizable imp guide. And guess what? The single player in Dreams, it's not like it's a standalone experience completely separate. It was actually created by Media Molecule within the game itself, so I find that incredible. So they created a tool set for gamers to create their own games, but using that tool set, they also made their own single player campaign within Dreams. I find that to be absolutely fascinating, kind of gameception right there, but nonetheless, I thought that was a pretty cool tidbit. Again, it won't be included at launch right away, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but by the time the game officially releases, a single player component will be there, it just won't be there as a part of the early access. So I find this in particular to be an awesome feature that Dreams is including because there are going to be millions upon millions of creations that gamers put out. It's going to be hard to pick something and actually start playing. However, you are also gonna have the option to go dream surfing. That'll queue up a playlist of experiences from creators all over the world for you to play in sequence. Think about how streaming video service can autoplay new episodes and videos without you having to seek them out. Much like YouTube, if you have autoplay on, it just autoplays to the next video. If you just wanna go through it sequentially, Dreams is gonna offer you something like that where you can just get invested into new experience after new experience right after they complete. And you can go what they're calling dream surfing. I just think that's going to make it a lot more accessible than having gamers go through millions upon millions of creations. I'm sure they'll rank them based on which ones were received the best, but nonetheless, just offering the ability to go dream surfing, I would love if they would actually allow you to tailor how you do your surfing. Maybe let you do your surfing based on new creations, based on genres that would cater to you. Whatever the case may be, just give us a little bit of customizability. That's just something I would like to see, and I'm sure Media Molecule already has that in the back of their head. Number seven, now when we talk about creation, a lot of the creation elements are just going to be from creating the gameplay, creating the mechanics, and that's obviously all going to be there. However, presentation is crucial to any game, and that goes for music as well, and Dreams is going to have a lot of options for that. Musicians of any experience level, including Zero, can choose from a library of instruments and record a performance in a live environment then blow it out into a full timeline view that will be familiar to anyone who's ever used a music creation application. Also mentioned in the PlayStation blog post, make your own by recording any sound with PlayStation camera's built-in microphone or import sounds via an upcoming web app, then apply any number of effects or filters to create your own custom instrument. And again, that's only if you're not content with the musical tools that Dreams have already implemented into the game. They're gonna give you outside avenues to create even more music, so they are offering you a lot of options to get the presentation right as well. What you're seeing is that there is an incredible amount of depth to all facets of game creation, even with Dreams. I know a lot of you guys were skeptical on what is this game actually going to offer you in terms of creating a compelling experience. Well, all the tools are there from a presentation standpoint, music, gameplay, it is all there and you're seeing that here with all of the music options they're offering as well. Number eight, so as I mentioned, there are going to be millions upon millions of creations, so it's going to be a little hard to find the ones that resonate with you the most, however, but of course, rating and reviewing creations is also going to be a major element element of the game and you'll be able to share your dreams with the world and rate and review other players' dreams. Or even if you want to take it one step further, you can remix their ideas into all new experiences, build your own social network as you follow other players, find like-minded creators through player persona profiles, work together on projects, take part in community challenges, and earn valuable dream stones as you play. They are really trying to bring the community together with this game even more so than LBP it seems like. And that's very important because dreams lives and dies based on its community and it looks like Media Molecule are really going the extra mile in making sure that the community integration is top notch. Number nine, so Dreams is also going to have a VR component. Unfortunately, this is another element of the game that will not be a part of the early access program. However, just on the notion of hearing Dreams in VR, I think that is going to be opening the floodgates to a lot of other potential projects. Again, in the official FAQ, when asked about is it included with VR from the get-go, Dreams VR is not included with the initial early access offering. It's still planned for Dreams and we're super excited for it. 
We'll be sure to share more details about it as soon as we're ready. We haven't heard a lot about Dreams VR and what that's going to be capable of. We don't even know if that's going to be an official part of the launch when the full game releases later this year. Hopefully that is the case, but we will keep you guys posted. Just know as a part of the early access offering, Dreams VR will not be there. And lastly, number 10, I do want to go over the price and release because this is an incredible part about Dreams early access is that it'll be priced at $29.99, which is half of your typical big game release. However, buying the early access now isn't just an entry into the game for the time being, and then when the full product is released, you'll have to drop a full $59.99 or even spend anything more for the remaining content. No, getting into the early access will give you access to the full game when it's released, and again, I imagine that'll be later this year. As far as release goes, and this is very important when it comes to the early access period, spots will be limited for users to get in, and while Media Molecule has said that they have plenty of spots available for their expectation level, I have a strong hunch that when gamers realize what Dreams can actually do, and it's being spread online more and more, and you see Reddit posts of what people are creating, more gamers are gonna want to get in, thus making it possible that that threshold will be broken for how many spots are available. But nonetheless, if you have interest in Dreams, I highly, highly recommend you get it as soon as it's posted on April 16th. Now, when will it be posted? For those of you in the States, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, 11.30 Eastern. For those in Europe, it'll go live from 10.30 a.m. BST. I imagine for a couple of days, spots will be open, but if gamers start getting wind of what's possible with Dreams, and it's as incredible as I expect it to be, I could easily see a ground swell of people trying to get in and then who knows what's gonna happen to circumvent all of that get it as soon as possible on the 16th and at the end of the day it's such a great value for $30 you get to try the game early and you'll get the full game when it's released later this year that is a steal and that's gonna conclude this video. Again, I feel Dreams is going a little bit under the radar. Maybe it's because in a couple of weeks we have the release of the next big budget PS4 exclusive in Days Gone, and that's a full release. Dreams is being released in this early access program. However, I am expecting incredible stuff out of it. Again, Media Molecule is incredibly talented. And just based on what we've seen out of Dreams so far, this can turn out to be an incredible experience and a game with an incredible amount of longevity as well, because gamers are just gonna create more and more content, and it looks like Media Molecule are gonna stay committed to it updating it, updating the creation suite. There is just so much potential in this game and I'm so excited to see how it turns out. Again, it drops April 16th, $30. And even if you have no intention on creating quality content, you know that there's gonna be a bunch of other people creating content and that's what I'm excited for to just delve into everyone else's creations. But nonetheless, that's gonna conclude this video. Make sure to sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.